Hi guys, this is Sanders and I am back with my weekly upload. Today I'm going to be reading A Naked Fashion by the McClure Twins. Um, it's written by Ava and Alexis McClure as seen on YouTube and it's illustrated by Courtney Dawson. Um, and before we get started, of course, like, duh, outfit of the day. Okay, for my outfit of the day, um, I just have on a little frock. It's like ruched here in the waist, but you know, it's long and kind of more relaxed at the bottom. And we've got a nice leg split action going on. Um, and I got this a couple years back from Nordstrom. I think it's the, the brand W-A-Y-F, Waif. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Um, for shoes, I have on some neon green. You see them, cannot miss them. Um, these are neon green Balenciaga knife pumps. Um, the knife pumps, by the way, even though they have, you know, a little bit of witchy character to them, they are the most comfortable shoes. And that's it. Hi guys, I'm back with another video and this is going to be part of the 12 Days of Christmas series, um, also known as the Shortcut to Vlogmas. <laughs> and I'm reading this book by the McClure Twins. I actually did not know who the McClure Twins were. I had to do a little bit of research and from what I understand, they are part of, you know, the family vlog styles that had that happens here on YouTube. Um... And they're adorable. So, you know, they've made a book about fashion. I love to read books about fashionable little girls and their mamas. So here we are. All right, let's get started. Let's see what they're talking about. Um, I picked this up at Target. So again, this is going to be an unbooking. <laughs> Y'all better be like citing me if you're out here saying that in these streets, okay? Like <laughs> this is going to be a true unbooking. Um, and hopefully we learn a little bit more about the girls as we read their book. Okay, let's get going. Okay, we open it up. Mm -hmm. A rainbow, butterflies, red lipstick, sunnies, a charm bracelet, like already starting off very well. I love a very well illustrated and fun kids book, you know? Okay, let's see. Make it fashion and a nice good old, what is this, a pinky swear? Okay. BFF. All right. Ava and Alexis are sisters. And when they were just itty bitty, they discovered something really big. And here they're playing on their little cans that they've made a foam out of. How cute. How adorable. Let me scoot back a little bit. Sarah. Love that. I can never keep mine alive. Okay. We have the same face. <laughs> you look just like me. Nah, uh you look just like me. And look at their little band too. Now it's in their baby hairs. How adorbs. Yep. Ava and Alexis discovered they were more than just sisters. They were twins. Identical twins. Cute. This means there's a lot about them that's the same. They have the same room, the same friends, same way to eat their same favorite snacks. They have a few toys that are different, but the same brother that gets into all of them. <laughs> I know that's right. Little brothers are like that. Sameness is their thing. At least that's what Alexis and Ava thought as they started planning their very first... Twintastic fashion show. Oh, look at the little puffies. I love puffs. I put them in my girl's hair all the time. It's so cute. Oh, they said, it's sort of a big deal. I would say so. A fashion show. Yes, ma'am. They agreed on the theme. It takes two to rip the runway. They agreed on the guest list. Okay. They've invited mommy. Daddy, Jersey, Teddy, and Teddy's friends. I'm assuming that Teddy is the brother and not Jersey. I don't know. Because, again, I don't know. All right. And they also agreed upon the music. There was only one thing they didn't quite, they didn't quite see the same. Their outfits for the show. Mm -mm, they couldn't agree upon. Mm. 
Ava, who loves everything fancy, pulled out a sparkly gemstone and poofy skirt while Alexis skimmed her closet for the perfect pants and sneakers. She likes to keep it old school cool. Look what I found. Look, she's pulled out a pink shirt and a little pink sparkly tutu. But wait, look what I found first. Oh, and she's pulled out some nice, nice Kente joggers. Some joggers from She by Charade's line. Mm. So I see where they might clash here then. Because one wants to be athleisure and the other is glam girl. Okay. Okay. Well, y'all can work it out. They'll work it out. I, I feel like you could, you could blend those together. But I am definitely team tutu, as you might have suspected. Okay, listen. We should wear this for the fashion show, both sisters said, holding up their different outfit choices. We're twins, sissy. We have to match, said Abba. You're being bossy McBossy pants, teased Alexis. I am not. I am being the oldest. And younger sisters listen to the oldest. Girl, the oldest, yes, the oldest. I'm exactly one minute older according to my precise calculations. Hmm. Oh, they done fell out. They fell out over one minute. <laughs> over one minute. Like, girl, you're not older. You just got a preview. Alexis didn't want to wear fancy outfits almost as much as she didn't want to be a minute younger. Alexis and Ava started to worry. They thought twins had to like all the same things. Could twins be different from one another? Was it possible for twins to be mismatched? One thing Ava and Alexis did know was that they liked doing everything side by side, no matter what they promised to strut together and make it fashion. Pinky promise. That meant working as a team, even if they didn't agree at first. All right, so they're gonna try to figure out how to make this work. You see, teamwork makes a dream work and I feel like they can do it. Like the fashion girls are always mixing things that don't really go, you know, they just kind of blend. So I feel like they, they can do this. Since there was still a show to put on, the twins decided to set the stage. Alexis drew pictures for the backdrop. Ava used her eye for pizzazz to create the runway. Very nice. And both sisters reserved seats for special guests. Look, Mr. Poofy can sit right up front. Oh, that's a cute little octopus. I actually really love octopus. Octopi. Octopi. Ava and Alexis were having so much fun. They almost forgot about being different. When there was nothing left to do but choose their outfits, the sisters thought of an amazing idea. They gave each other a fist bump and headed to their closets. It's showtime. It's showtime, girls. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, of course, they have the IKEA pack system, of course, like, you know, like all the girls. Um, and what do they have in here? A pink wig. <laughs> a pink wig. And I'm seeing here some nice rain boots. They've got some heels and some sneakers. I think they're a bit young for heels this high, but you know, maybe they're for dress up. The curtains opened. Ava and Alexis sashayed down the runway. The crowd went wild. They mix and match poofy skirts with parachute pants, bedazzled sparkly gemstones on hoodies, and decorated baseball caps with flowers and bows. To top it off, they wore glittery high top sneakers. Now you see, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? They could make it work. And that is a banging outfit. It's a banging outfit. It's an outfit that I would wear. You see, you see how great things come when you put your mind to it? I really like this. The twins mixed a little bit of Ava and matched a little bit of Alexis, creating a whole new mismatched, fancy, old school style, but it was fabulously twin-tastic. Ava and Alexis discovered twins can be the same and different. Twins can mix and match. And of course, like one has strawberry earrings 
and the other has a classic gold hoop. You know what I mean? And they both look adorable just because you have the same DNA. <laughs> you do not have to be exactly the same. Okay. Oh, and look, they have their mommy and their daddy and their little brother and their all their stuffies up front watching the show. At the end of the runway, they hooked fingers and repeated their twin ship pinky promise. Strut together and make it fashion. Mama and Dada were so... Mama and Dada? Is that what they call them? Oh, I would be insulted. First of all, I don't like mama. Like, I don't live on a farm, so don't call me mama. I do not like that at all. I prefer mommy. <laughs> I prefer mommy. Um, and dada is just... That's something right there. But anyway, that's not my business. Um, but it just feels really weird saying mama and dada. But, okay. They were proud. Being the same makes you too, oops, being the same makes you too special, but being different makes you you. After they hugged, there was only one thing left to do. Oh, you better work that runway. Dance it out. Okay, that too. Dance it out twin style. And look, they're jamming. They're jamming. Everybody got their hands in the air. Hands in the air. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, cute. Okay, so that was the end. And now they just have like here um, some little pictures from real life. And it says the McClure Twins Fierce Fashion Tips. We love making everything fashion. You can too by following these five fabulous tips. Tips number one, the best accessory is a smile, a fact. Tip number two, no matter what, always make it your own. Mm -hmm. Tip number three, two words. Big hair don't care. Okay, that's four words. And yes, big hair don't care. And you know, I just feel like the bigger, the closer to heaven. You know what I mean? Love a big hair moment. Tip number four, be kind, be confident, be cool. Oh, Jersey's the little brother. Okay, here we go. Jersey's the little brother. He's got his little fit on. I see you. Tip number five, wear lots and lots of colors. And when in doubt, add a dash of sparkles. I absolutely 100% agree, and these are fashion mavens at their young age. I don't know how old they are, but they are they already know what's up. And a bonus tip, whatever you do, strut together and make it fashion. And here we have a picture of them walking down the runway. How adorable, oh my God, this is the cutest thing. This is the cutest thing. Look at these girls. Okay, and then we just have more of the back cover. And that was absolutely adorable. A picture of the two little cutie pies. They're so cute. Okay, that was absolutely adorable. I really enjoyed that they gave him fashion tips at the end and, you know, well needed. Um, and, you know, the important thing here is that they're saying make fashion your own. And I have to, you know, remind kids of that. As you're growing up, everyone wants to fit in. And, you know, sometimes kids, you know, are not the most fashionable. So when you're the super extra one, it can be a little bit hard to fit in. But the point is not to fit in. Don't fit in. Be yourself. And that's what makes you special. And it's reiterated here. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anyway, how did you guys feel about the book? Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, it's December. Dig in. Dig in. This is just the beginning. If you have any other suggestions for books, please let me know. Let me know how you feel about this below. Would you have mixed that ensemble together? Um, and yeah, you know. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that, and wait for the next video. It's coming. It's coming, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to attempt Vlogmas, and it's going to be my version of Vlogmas. It might not be every day until Christmas, but it's going to be a lot more than usual, so stick around. Okay, guys. Bye.